everyone, this is Faye Renee. Welcome back to Movie Reviews with Faye Renee. Well, I got the 411 on the Lion King for you. Stay tuned, it's coming right up. Boom! So you guys, the original Lion King was directed by Roger Ehlers and Bob Minkoff. Now, this brand new Lion King, 25 years later, was directed by John Favreau. So, here we go. The Lion King 2019 is basically the same story as The Lion King of 1994, both created by Disney. Uh, so now we have the critics versus the people, a split again. The critics that didn't like the new Lion King were saying things like, it's exactly the same, we wanted something new, what's the big deal, why didn't you leave it in a cartoonish fashion, uh, we don't like the new CGI, and so you wanted a cartoon fashion with a new story. Yeah. My take as a people's critic review is that the Lion King is very enjoyable. The 3D CGI made it very different and off the chain. But the story is the same and it's beautiful. It was called The Lion King and everybody knew it was a remake. Everyone knew. With split reviews, I did talk to quite a few moviegoers and asked them right at the theater. So what did you think? A lot of people said, I really like it. Would you recommend it? Yes. Then there were people that said, I liked it, but it wasn't different. And um, I thought it would be something different. It was the same movie, you know, and I said, would you recommend it? And resoundingly, all of those people said, yes. So the, it's still a great movie. It's just new and, you know, sometimes different is not better, but sometimes it is. I think in this case it is. It's 2019. That, that, whatever they did that in, that was a state of the art. For then it was, this is all now. the animals look so real. Um, I study animals. They look like they could have jumped off the screen and bit you. It was beautifully done. Come on, man. Talent. So let's talk about this Beyonce issue. Okay, haters gonna hate. She got a lot of haters, you know, and she got more people that love it all. Let me tell y'all something. Hate or not, they did this. Beyonce was Nala. She already got that baby voice, you know. She had a beautiful young voice that portrayed young Nala, who was, you know, the young lioness that was betrothed to Simba. And her voice was perfect. She was perfect. She did this great job there. So, hey, it was Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. No worries in Swahili, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> All right, uh, here's a side note. You know I couldn't leave without a side note. When I watched the original uh, Lion King back 25 years ago, uh, I thought it was perfect, and I had a different perspective on life. Well, I know things now I didn't know then. Anyway, when I was watching this new one, and... <laughs> Simba had gone off into the jungle to find himself and he was with his little friends, the warthog and the meerkat and he was just eating scrubs and just going through life without a care and, and you know, I thought, oh my God, he's a metrosexual. <laughs> he reminded me of guys today that are metrosexuals and, um, and usually sometimes they're vegan and stuff. I don't know why, it just made me laugh because I likened it to that. I'm sorry, I did. And... So I was waiting for him to come on into your own. And I was waiting. And finally, he became that carnivorous, hunting, lion, king, you know, meat eater <laughs> that he should be. And he was. So, hey, the circle of life. <laughs> Some voice credits. As you know, Nala was played by Beyonce. Simba was portrayed by Donald Glover. Rafiki, the mandrel, that monkey, he was played by John Connie. Hornbill Zazu, the bird, he was voiced by John Oliver. Timon, the meerkat, was voiced by Billy Eichner. Pumbaa, the warthog, was played by Seth Rogen. Scar, that jerk, Simba's brother, was voiced by Chiwetel Ejiofor. Zinni, the head hyena, her voice was great, was voiced by Florence Kasumba. And Queen Saribi, uh, the mother of Simba was voiced by Alfre Woodard. I didn't know that. And last but not least, Mufasa, the grand king, the first king. Yeah, he had it going on again, and it was the powerful James Earl Jones. Okay, so overall, I think the Move Lion King 2019 was very good because you got, it was voiced over beautifully. And the 3D CGA, like I said, was off the chain. It was ridiculous. It was gorgeous. So you got great music and a great new look. What more could you ask for? And you got that little bit of nostalgia that you were seeking in The Lion King. So there you go. That's it. That's all. The Lion King, I give it a four out of five. Next time I'll check you. This is Faye. Bye. <laughs> Okay.
In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the quiet jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoy movie reviews with Faye Renee. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you next time at the movies.